All right, today we're gonna to do a little update video on our HunterWorks Fresh Start system um, for the XP 1000 Razor 16 and newer. Uh, as you noticed, if you've already bought our kit, uh, you'll notice secondary does not look like your original. It, it has what's called a center post in it. Uh, it's kind of mimics a 15 style that's allowed to fit on your 16 and newer transmission shaft. And so with, with this, it has also given us ability to do what we call a secondary clutch float mod with it. First and foremost, is not required to do this, but in your box, you're gonna find some up to five washers and then a concave washer, and there's, there's not really paper instructions, and I haven't done a good job of educating you what this is, and hence, hence this video. So once again, 100% optional. Why would we do it to begin with? Well, we always hope that you buy one of our alignment tools when you're doing a HunterWorks clutch system to get alignment between both clutches perfect. Uh, however, even if you buy it over time, they can still get off. So when your secondary has ability to float over in and out on the transmission shaft, this allows it to kind of self-center itself. Is it required to do? Absolutely not. I have people go, I don't feel comfortable putting a stack of washers well, if you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. But uh, nonetheless, here's the gist of it. So you're gonna get up to five washers. I've chosen four. It's it's the amount that I that I like for the float here. You can put all five if you like. So your concave washer with, goes with the cup towards the uh, secondary shaft. Slide your bolt through. In my case, all four washers. And I'm gonna get Hunter to zoom in uh, at this location. Okay, so I'm gonna put my bolt in for quickness. I'm gonna hit it with my impact. All right, which FYI, this is torqued 55 foot pounds. There's no good way to hold it. I personally use impact no one to quit. I actually quit a little soon that time. But I want you to focus your attention right here where my finger is, this little gap between this washer and the edge of the clutch here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it out. You saw that movement right there. Now, the FYI, the transmission shaft moves a tiny bit itself. It has to, it can't, or it'll bind. So you'll see the whole thing move a little bit. Now, let's go to the gap. All right. That's basically it. It just allows, like I said, kind of repeat myself, just allows that secondary to flow a little bit. So it self centers and, it, you know, more time between the time that you have to use your alignment to. For it. Once again, 100% optional, uh, uh, lack of a better term, if you're real anal, you don't like the use of putting the washers on there or you have our alignment tool and yours is perfect, don't use it. It's just there if you want to and this is explanation of the washers. So if you've got any more questions about the HunterWorks clutch system, uh, holler at me, Todd at HunterWorks.com. Just remember we make our own primary clutches now, made in the United States and we're coupling it with a better made secondary uh, for the XP 1016 and near. Thank you.